also following a rapidly developing story on Staten Island, and it's violent and tragic. A 13-year-old boy was stabbed and killed on an MTA bus after school. It happened in the Eltingville section after school. The reported attack, another young person. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin is live at the scene with what we know right now. Tom? Right, Shade. Just a horrible, horrible tragedy. One 13 year old dead from the result of multiple stab wounds. Another 13 year old in custody in connection with his killing. And four hours after this tragedy unfolded, still a very active crime scene and police presence in this section of Staten Island. That's the MTA bus just behind us here, the S78. It happened around 2.25 this afternoon. You see police investigators still coming and going there. We're hearing from witnesses who were on board that bus that the young victim, 13 years old, stabbed not once but four or five times running from his attacker, the length of the bus collapsing at the feet of the bus driver. Police responding very quickly. Video from a short time ago shows investigators searching for the murder weapon, going through sewers here in a grid pattern, looking for the knife. The alleged assailant telling them he tossed it. He was actually chased down by a former police officer. The NYPD during a briefing at one police plaza a short time ago crediting that person with helping to make a swift arrest. The retired sergeant starts to follow the male who, who did the stabbing. At this time, another witness points, in, points him out and says, this person just stabbed somebody. And the sergeant affects the, uh, the arrest. And that 13-year-old remains in custody right now in connection with the death of one of his classmates, both students at IS-7 here on Staten Island. And witnesses here at the scene, Shade, we should point out, describing some really heroic acts by the NYPD. A very quick response by emergency services generally, but the first responding officers finding the 13-year-old, seeing his grave condition, assessing that and making a call not to wait for an ambulance, but to throw him in a cruiser just as quickly as they could. Get Hospital as quickly as they could, where sadly he was pronounced dead this afternoon. Live on Staten Island, Tom Negevin, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Shade, back to you. All right, well, that's sorry.